morning. Today's weather will be sunny with storms rolling in after lunch with winds topping out at 600 kilometers per second. Wait, what? Oh, you probably thought I was talking about weather on Earth. I'm actually talking about weather in space. That's right, space weather. So what exactly is it? In a nutshell, space weather is the interaction between the sun and Earth's magnetic field. Typical weather forecasting on Earth is based on your location. In space, it's global. Now, I want to take a moment to talk about an event that's been in the news recently, Hurricane Ian. Scientists and weather experts use satellites to measure and track the hurricane and collect information to help predict direction with wind speeds, rain levels, and more to forewarn people as much as possible. Experts have also developed a rating scale for hurricanes depending on various factors to help people understand the potential level of impact. These methods are also used for space storms. For example, a Category 5 hurricane has the potential for catastrophic damage to the area of impact, which can span up to 1,200 miles in diameter. A Level 5 space storm, or geomagnetic storm, has the potential to cause damage spanning half the globe. For this reason alone, we need to increase our ability to forecast space weather. Right now, our forecasting provides a one-dimensional point of view, so we're only getting a partial view of the sun, resulting in gaps in our data. I would like to propose a new mission to send twin satellites to stay at stable points at opposing sides of Earth's orbit facing the sun 24-7. The locations will be able to put together 3D pictures of various solar dynamics like how our eyes work together to see things with depth. Plus, we'll be able to see and measure Earth-directed eruptions with clarity, leading to better forecasting. For visual reference, my slide shows two solar ejections viewed from our face-on vantage point. The one on the left was a massive outburst that erupted from its side. And the one on the right shows how forecasters currently look for halos from Earth-directed eruptions. Big difference, right? If it were me, I would want to, without a doubt, see if the storm was headed our way from one of these stable points with the eruption leaving its side. We can collectively measure how big it is, how fast it's going, and when it'll reach Earth. Looking at our sun from just one perspective, one perspective just isn't enough anymore. If we want to provide the best space weather forecasting possible to avoid a global disaster. Thank you.